Everyone was complaining about the weather. The storm brought a rare blanket of snow to the Santa Cruz Mountains, delighting commuters, dog walkers, and families like Kim Rasmussen and her three sons. My son came in last night and he, he said, oh, there's going to be snow in the um, overnight. I was like, right. yeah, uh, no. How did nine-year-old weatherman Luke make his prediction? I asked Siri. You asked Siri? <laughs> yeah. And she told you it was going to snow today. She said 50% chance. Uh, honestly, it's really nice to stay again. It's like a little winter wonderland up here. It's really pretty. But CHP officer Sam Courtney notes there were at least two weather-related crashes on backcountry roads. I see a lot of motorists as they drive with their cameras out trying to get that shot as they're driving. Not the safest idea. We don't want distracted driving added into these uh, wet weather icy conditions. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, Matt Bigler, KCBS. Santa Clara County is partnering with city governments and nonprofits to extend supportive housing services through Thursday. KCBS's Marky Schaefer joins us live to report this extension when prompted by this frigid weather. Marky? Rebecca, it is an unusual sight visible from Highway 101 through Palo Alto, seeing snow-capped hills and these unusually cold temperatures that prompted Santa Clara County to add 150 additional shelter beds and daytime warming centers and libraries and community and senior centers. Thanks to those who stay inside and get warm during this inclement weather episode that could lead to hypothermia or other serious health risks. That is Patty Eaton with the Santa Clara Office of Emergency Services with cold weather predicted to continue and snow levels as low as a thousand feet. The three overnight warming locations at the Bascom Community Center, the Leininger Community Center, and the Roosevelt Community Center in San Jose also have kennels for pets. They are currently not operating at capacity. A special concern for government officials are older adults who may not turn the heat up in order to save money. This is not a good idea. Our people are encouraged to adjust the thermostat to maintain a comfortable body temperature. Reporting live in Santa Clara County, Marky Chamber, KCB, Thanks, Marky. Last night, storm dumped heavy rain and snow at 70 National Park, toppling trees, triggering a rock slide, and forcing officials to close all roads. Officials urged visitors to stay indoors. Some of the Bay Area peaks got up to four inches of snow overnight. National Weather Service forecaster Drew Peterson says higher Bay Area peaks do get a dusting of snow from year to year. But what makes this morning so unusual is how low it fell in southern Santa Clara Valley. Snow was spotted as far down as just 300 feet, and San Francisco's high peak wasn't left out either. Around uh, San Francisco itself, we did hear about dusting of snow uh, briefly at uh, Twin Peaks in San Francisco itself. Twin Peak has an elevation of 922 feet. The last time the city saw snow was in 2011. And tonight, President Trump delivers the State of the Union address. Immigration expected to be a major theme, though officials have been hesitant to say much about what's in his speech. California's Attorney General Javier Becerra, who has made his office the center of the state's resistance to the Trump administration, will be watching closely. Becerra has chosen to deliver the Democrat Spanish language response practice started back in 2011. And you can hear the State of the Union live here on KCBS 6 o'clock this evening, followed by the Democrats' response. Just ahead on KCBS, state projection sites in San Francisco, back on the table. Let's get out and check the traffic now with George Rex. The slowest traffic is still to be found behind the Caltrans sweepers on the Bayshore Freeway heading into San Mateo on 101 southbound. The backup still reaches almost to SFO, but it's no longer as slow past the airport southbound. 280 is a great alternate for you if you're interested in avoiding those delays. And it's sweepers that account for the slow traffic into Sunnyvale northbound on 85 north of Fremont Avenue. An earlier occurring crash on the uh, East Shore Freeway, Interstate 80. Let's go to the Chilton Auto Body Collision Cam, Bob Pryor. Yeah, we have a two-car crash West 80 after Powell Street in Emeryville. That crash is long gone, but I have still seen slow traffic out there from before Ashby Avenue to just past Powell. And I'm not seeing any slow traffic on your Nimitz ride through Oakland. This is quite remarkable, actually. All the way from 980 in downtown, leading down past 66, uh, past Davis, all the way to 238. It's a pretty much clear shot. And the same can be said for the ride into Hayward and Fremont on 880. For your ride on Interstate 680, no delays between Dublin, Pleasanton, Sonol, Fremont, and Milpitas. And it's an easy ride into Walnut Creek, eastbound on 24. Next update, 1218 traffic leader, KCBS.
It's a beautiful day. Sunny, chilly. Highs in the 40s now. Maybe we'll see 50 degrees in a few places later on today. It's cold again overnight. Freezing in some places, 20s, 30s, and 40s. Sunshine tomorrow and Thursday with temperatures going a little bit higher. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on all news 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. Now where can you find Nancy Pelosi, Donald Trump, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg singing and dancing all under one roof? At Beach Blanket Babylon, of course. Good seats are available now. What are you waiting for? Visit BeachBlanketBabylon.com today. We all have wished at one time or another if we could just do two things at the same time. Well, if you're about to refinance or purchase a new home, here are two things you should have absolutely do at the same time. Apply with at least two lenders. Smart Tech here from HMS Capital. Having two loans processed at the same time accomplishes a couple of important things. First, it maintains continuing competition for you, the customer, right up to the finish line. This results in a lower interest rate that saves you money. Second, it improves your chances of a successful transaction by eliminating the dependence on a single lender. HMS Capital requires no advance fees to apply, there's no appraisal fee, and no credit fee. With our razor-sharp interest rates, we are completely confident that no matter how many lenders you apply with, we will win your business. So call HMS Capital today and let us show you how doing two things at once really can save you money. Call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698. 833-255-5698. That's 833-255-5698. Or go to HMSCapital.com. Best Capital Funding, NMLS number 303222 in California. DBO Finance Lenders Law License 60 dbo 37652. Doing business at HMS Capital. 833-255-5698. Meet Denise. I would wake up in the morning feeling very tired, like I hadn't slept at all. I would wake up every morning with a headache, and um, that feeling basically lasted all day. Denise suffers from sleep apnea. I was struggling at work. I'm too tired to do anything at home once I got home, and I didn't know where my life was going. How were you feeling? I was desperate at that point. After trying many different options, Denise turns to Inspire, a sleep apnea solution and alternative to CPAP. How has life been since Inspire? Things are great. I feel brighter all day. What's the biggest change you've seen? I can go to the movies, I can watch a movie on TV, and I see the beginning, middle, and end. Seems like such a small thing, but sounds like it made a big impact. My life is great. Life is just great. To learn how you can treat sleep apnea without a mask and review important safety information, visit InspireSleep.com. That's InspireSleep.com. Patient testimonials are genuine and typical. However, results may vary. KCBS News Time. 12-11. This portion of the news watch is sponsored by Beach Blanket Babylon. San Francisco State Senator Scott Weiner has reintroduced a bill that would allow the creation of a safe injection site for illicit drug users. KCBS has Bob Butler reports a previous bill was vetoed, but Governor Newsom says he's open to the idea. Bob. Governor Brown has vetoed a veto message that the site would not reduce drug addiction and would violate federal law. Senator Weiner says that is short-sighted.